Good morning to each and everyone. Welcome grade 11 students. I am your teacher, Raymond N. Hilar, handling Introduction to Philosophy into Human Person. Before we start to our discussion, so let us first know what is our learning objective. At the end of this lesson, the learners will be able to first distinguish a holistic perspective from a partial point of view. Second, recognize human activities that emanated from deliberate reflection. Third, realize the value of doing philosophy in obtaining a broad perspective in life. And last, doing a philosophical reflection on a concrete situation from a holistic perspective. Okay, where did philosophy originate? Philosophy traces its roots in ancient Greece in the 6th century BCE, means before Christ era. Tradition had it that the word philosophy was first coined by Pentagoras, a Greek mathematician. He used this term to classify three classes of people who attended the ancient Olympic Games as first, Lovers of gain, second, lovers of honor, third, lovers of knowledge or wisdom. So before we tackle the three classes, so let us first discuss who is Pentagoras. Okay, so Pentagoras of Samos was an ancient Lorian Greek philosopher and eponymous founder of Pentagorianism. His political and religious teaching were well known in Magna Grecia and influenced the philosophers of Plicho, Aristotle, and Socrates. Okay, so Pentagoras born Samos Chris, died in Meta Pontum, Italy, full name Pentagoras of Samos, then his nickname is the father of numbers. So now, let's tackle lovers of gain. Okay, lovers of gain who come to buy and sell, lovers of honor who come to compete, and lovers of wisdom who come to simply to look on. He favored the third class for not being driven by profit nor honor. Instead, they sought ways to arrive at the truth. He then called these people as philosophers. So, first we have Plicho, second Aristotle, third Socrates. Among the ancient Greeks, philosophers became pioneers in history, biology, medicine, mathematics, astronomy, and even physics. So, first who is Plicho? So Plicho was an Athenian philosopher during the classical period in ancient Greece, founder of the Plotonist School of Thoughts and the Academy, the first institution of higher learning in the Western world. Aristotle was a Greek philosopher and polymath during the classical period in ancient Greece. Socrates, first moral philosopher of the Western ethical tradition of what is philosophy? Many philosophers could not agree on the exact definition of the word philosophy. Despite its varying definition and lack of general agreement to it, it does not mean that the terms cannot be defined and characterized. So philosophy is the study of fundamental nature of knowledge, reality, and existence, especially when considered as an academic discipline. So here are some popular definitions of philosophy. First, etymological definition. The word philosophy is derived from philosophia, which is combination of the Greek terms pelos means love and sophia means wisdom. Thus, philosophy means love of wisdom. Philosophers, therefore, are the people who are lovers of wisdom. Okay. So, in the etymological definition relating to the origin and historical development of words and their meanings. The technical definition. The philosophy can be best defined as the science of the first causes 
it seeks to know and clarify the very source of which all the chain of causes ultimately all go back to it. So, meaning relating to a particular subject, art, or craft, or its techniques. Okay. Philosophy is also a science since it utilizes reason in logic in attempts to understand reality and answer fundamental questions considering no life, morality, and human nature. Okay. What are the branches of philosophy? Okay. First, metaphysics, study of existence. So questions, what out there? Epistemology, study of knowledge. How do I know about it? Ethics, study of action. What should I do? Politics, study of force. What actions are permissible? Aesthetics, study of art. What can life be like? Okay. Philosophy can divide into four major branches, namely okay. metaphysics. Metaphysics is a branch of philosophy that deals with the examination of existence. It answers queries like, what is the meaning of life? What is the purpose of life? Does God exist? So, abstract theory with no basis and reality. So, that is the metaphysics. Okay. Epistemology studies the process of attaining knowledge. It answers the question, how do we know? Among the biggest concerns of epistemology are the origin and verification or the confirmation of knowledge. It also concerned with how the human person's mind is associated with reality and whether these relationships are valid or invalid. So in the epistemology comes from the Greek word epistem and logos. Okay, ethics. Ethics is a branch of philosophy dealing with correct judgment. It answers the question, what I ought to do? It is the study of right or wrong in human action. It is concerned about human conduct. It deals with norms or standard or right and wrong applicable to human behavior or moral principles that governs a person's behavior or conducting of an activity. The aesthetics. Aesthetics is a branch of philosophy that delves into art. The study includes what art is and the purpose behind it. The philosopher is concerned with the analysis of an aesthetics experience and the idea of what is beautiful. It attempts to answer questions like, is art subjective? Or aesthetics is a set of principles concerned with the nature and appreciation of beauty, especially in arts. Okay. How the holistic different from partial thinking? In life, it is wise to adapt an all-inclusive perspective or view, which emphasizes on the idea that every part of a system has a mutual relationship. The interrelationship among things was first convinced by Aristotle. Okay. It can best summarize by the line, the whole is more than the sum of its part. Okay, by Aristotle. Okay. This means that all parts are all related to each other and that is cannot be understood independently without considering the other's factor. Or in other words, when individual parts are connected together to form one entity, they are worth more than if the parts were in. Okay. This view of taking all things as part of a system is exposed in the philosophical doctrine of Okay, adhering to the doctrine of holism, holistic thinking advocates looking at the big picture. Okay, look at the big picture. Look at the man standing top of the mountain. Okay, with a licensing situation or problem, this would require one to be open-minded to get the general sense or impression regarding an event in this regard. Therefore, all aspects in a given situation must be considered. So, okay, in the holistic thinking is the ability to see things as a whole or holistically, to understand and predict the many different types of relationship within the many elements in complex system and also perceive the whole picture through sensing its large scale patterns. So, that is holistic means.
Okay, let's proceed on the contrary. So partial thinking address focusing on one factor in analyzing a situation or a problem to understand it. This kind of view is very limiting in nature. Because partial thinking is focuses on a specific aspect of a situation. So the partial view is an important component of analytical thinking as an individual focuses on a certain areas only. Three. So philosophy prefers holistic thinking to partial thinking. Developing a holistic perspective is essential to man since his life is not influenced or governed by single factor only. It allows him to see the totality of life while putting me in different vantage point when looking at the things. It also teaches critical thinking and cultivates a sense of understanding in dealing with others. So instead of focusing to a certain problem, so you have to view the whole world. You have to search problem the solution you have to search encouragement you have to search any types of answers in your problem so that is the holistic means while in the partial thinking is only focusing into one certain places like for example chair so she is focusing also in the chair while in the holistic is she is top of the world all seeing the whole things in life Okay. As changes are inevitable, one must cultivate open-mindedness to many possibilities. Like that I said, so you have to focus to certain or many types of solutions. So in the same light, must remember that every action one does create a ripple effects that will influence many aspects of his life. Okay, why does philosophy value questioning? Okay. In philosophy, almost all questions are valid since they aim at understanding the world better. Correct. In any question that is genuinely felt and follows further exploration can be a philosophical one. Okay. In general sense, questions are more important than answer in the realm of philosophy. For Plato, philosophy begins in wonder. This means that one begins to embark on his philosophical journey through a life questioning and searching the truth. Okay, thus philosophy starts with a feeling of curiosity and puzzlement, and it's man's role to be in search of an answer. So, of course, if you have problems, you are the one to search a solution. Okay, the habit of questioning can activate the mind to think and find solution to different problems. Questions can help improve the body of knowledge since they can either challenge existing information or refine it. This is the reason why philosophy will endure because the act of questioning is internal. Okay. Why we need philosophy? Okay. Philosophy plays an important role in one's life. Students who learn philosophy get a great many benefits from doing so. There are some practical uses that one can get if he ventures in this undertaking. Philosophy enables a person to engage in critical analysis and interpretation of concept definitions, arguments, and problems. So critical also suggests the analysis tries in some sense to discover the truth about the phenomena or concept in questions. So the principal focus on philosophical analysis is an ideas and concept or conceptual analysis, process that allows one to give or determine a concept precise definition. Philosophy also improves problem solving and decision making. Okay, a philosopher is a wise communicator who can clearly and adequately present his or her ideas. Okay, wisdom is one intended product of philosophizing and this refers to a person's ability to apply knowledge to daily life, particularly in making sound choices and judgment. And finally, knowledge of philosophy can contribute to self-development. 
So, okay. So, thank you everyone. So, this is our last slide. So, I hope that you understand. So, if you have questions, so please contact me to my Gmail or from my cell phone number 0975 So, thank you and God bless.